Hi, Aries. What are the messages? Mid month August for Aries. Aries. Okay, let's take a look. I have the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. Wow. Let's see what's underneath. The Star in Reverse. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, let me move the camera and we will get started with your reading. All right, Aries. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm just looking at these cards and um, first of all, I want to say <laughs> that uh, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus may have some meaning to you. Um, I'm looking at, okay, let's see here. We have the star as the major arcana. So Aquarius, uh, I'm, I'm here, okay, and I heard also equestrian. I wonder if this has something to do with the Olympics. I am not sure what this is. There's something about, okay, and I don't know, maybe this isn't the Olympics, but I feel like they're slow and steady wins the race. I don't know what that means. I don't even know um, about horses. But I feel like somebody is going to defeat somebody or um, where there's like, I feel like this could be, I guess it could be the Olympics, but I feel like this is also something maybe, I feel like somebody is possibly betting on this on a horse. I don't know if there's a horse named Slow and Steady or I, I don't know what this is. Um, but I feel like, especially with the, uh, the star in reverse, it's like, you know, so like somebody has no faith in or, or any hope um, or there's, you know, some kind of discouragement. And, oh, there's a little bug. <laughs> okay, what does the bug mean? Bugging, somebody's bugging. I don't know, it might occur to me. Um... I have my windows open, but I guess they got, this one got through the screen or something. I don't know if it flies. I don't think so. Okay. I don't know what that is. I'm going to put that outside. I don't really like to kill things. So, um, I'm going to just see if I can get this outside. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe somebody's bugging somebody. Um, so, Okay. I'll be right back because that little bug is going to bother me. Hold on. Okay, I am back. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so what I'm feeling with that bug, I don't, I feel like there's, maybe there's um, an animal or uh, um, something that catches a bug or, um, just isn't doing well or somebody just doesn't have much faith in um, some type of animal like but I feel like it somehow gets it, it wins I mean look it, it just after some type of a battle it pulls through so maybe there's an animal or a horse or somebody out there where, you know, like people just don't believe in something or, you know, that it can recover and, and it recovers. 
That's kind of the message that I'm getting, or maybe it wins the race. Um, where there is lack of faith, there's some type of success. Now, it doesn't mean, though, that it's going to be smooth sailing because we do have the Five of Swords here. Um, let me see. Eight, nine, ten. So that's 13. So I wonder if something is, um, you know, close to like, I feel like somebody is battling something. Now, this, I feel like it's an illness of some kind. And I don't know, I'm getting that maybe they go the holistic route or and maybe they go to, I, I got Mexico or, or like in the United States somewhere where it's, you know, high vibrational like Arizona, uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, or I mean, somebody tries something different. Now, so this may not necessarily be on an animal. This could actually be a person and it helps them. Now, the, you know, and, and this doesn't have to be anything extremely, extremely serious. This could be, but it's something that I feel like where am I ever going to get rid of this bug or am I ever going to heal from this, you know, health situation? The pentacles definitely have to do with health. And after a battle of some kind or a battle of will, it's like their health increases. Um, so maybe it's also through eating. I'm really focused on the fruits and the greens and the vegetables. I, maybe it's by eating something healthier. But there is something about a horse. I don't know. Um, I was thinking about that movie. I never saw it, though. I can't think of that horse's name where it was like C. Oh, gosh. What was the name? That horse, I think that didn't have much of a chance or something, but I, I didn't see it. But I, there's something about a horse. Uh, so maybe there's a horse that somebody thinks, look, we're going to put it down or it's not going to make it. Or, you know, there's no hope like that horse can't become a champion and it becomes a champion. Now, that could be also a metaphor. Um, it could be, you know, representing something else. Because I feel like through battling of will or fighting something out, something increases, something gets better. Or, you know, maybe there's um, battles going on or, and, and maybe this is conflicts. Uh, could be between three people. This could definitely be uh, in the workplace, especially with these pentacles. It could be around work. doesn't have to be health. Um, and with the five of swords, you know, this can be conflict, loss, uh, can be uh, tension, um, battles of some kind, as I said earlier, uh, battling something out. Um, and for some, it could even be um, a sense of betrayals. Maybe somebody feels betrayed in some way. But something positive comes out of this. I'm also getting the message that, like, somebody grows up fast. It's almost like overnight, they take the reins. They take the helm. They take over the business. Um... They're, they're, they're put into a situation, I don't know, maybe all of a sudden there's an opportunity um, or somebody is battling for an opportunity in terms of being the captain of the ship or the COO, CEO, CFO, um, or, you know, battling for a bonus or a raise or something like that. Could also be, I mean, that there's a battle between two people. Um, this could be in the court system. This could be in the home. Because if uh, everything becomes a 13, which then reduces down to a 4, so this could be a battle of wills, but it could also, okay, will as in, um, you know, not giving up, but also will like there's uh, maybe a court 
battle over a will or um, because I'm seeing this also as maybe there's an estate of some kind or land or assets and there's battles uh, regarding money or who owes who money or um, something like that. But it, it could definitely be battle in love. Uh, there's two people here. These are also interchangeable, male or female. Just because they're showing as a knight and a king doesn't mean that they are necessarily uh, males. But, um, but there could be a battle between two. It could also be that this is a family battle. There's a division within a family um, or could be that you, you meet somebody new, but there's, there's battles because maybe there's a big age difference. There's a gap in between, you know, there's some decades or a decade in between or two decades. And, um, you know, so there's some differences and there's some need to even things out, but, um, but this is also new beginnings and new opportunities. So it could be that, you know, I, I almost feel like um, uh, like somebody is rooting for the underdog and like the underdog comes out on top is the feeling that I'm getting. Obviously, I'm reading for thousands of you. So for whom this message even applies this, you know, but I am, I'm feeling like somebody comes out on top. It's almost like somebody, you know, maybe the person that everybody thinks is going to win does win temporarily, but then something comes in or gets turned over. And I feel like the underdog or the person that wasn't expected to get something actually gets something. So maybe everybody wins. You know, it just doesn't play out the way everybody thinks it's going to. It's kind of the feeling that I'm getting. You know, and um, I just, I, I feel like it's better to support one another and not even have this conflict you know, it'd be great to get on the same page so we can avoid this stuff. But, you know, if there's a lot of people involved, and I feel like there's more than, you know, there's obviously at least two people. But in the Rider Waite deck, there's actually three people in the picture. Here in this deck, in the Connolly deck, there's only two. But, um... I don't know. I feel like somebody's trying to twist things or twist words or twist something. And somebody's going to find out, no, that's not really how it happened or that's not how it went down. Um, so, but I, I feel like, you know, there's somebody's going to... I don't know, maybe it's also a message somebody hasn't seen somebody in a while, and when they see them, they're like, um, they're all grown up. Uh, I mean, we just, you know, such a, you know, we go from the knight to the king. So somebody is crowned something. Somebody wins a crown. Or maybe like I was talking about the Olympics, somebody gets a, a big medal. Or maybe they were supposed to get, you know, the knight's medal. They end up with the king's medal. <laughs> so this could definitely be, you know, winning center stage. Um, I'm also picking up like theater or I don't know. I got like Shakespeare in the park. So this could even be like an acting role or something to do with like um, I'm getting like medieval acting or medieval theater or maybe there's like a Shakespeare festival or something going on and uh, somebody, you know, um, that was supposed to play the role. Um, didn't get it or like somebody who is a, a big star was supposed to get a role and they're uh, and maybe they're unable to do it and somebody else gets it or maybe they don't get the role but somebody else does 
um, um, it could, yeah, it could be that maybe there's, um, with that bug that was going crazy, maybe somebody gets some type of minor illness and they can't perform. So I feel like somebody steps in, whether it's the theater or the Olympics or, you know, a horse race or something. Um, and it's like, oh my gosh, they end up winning when it's least expected. Um, there's also the possibility of a merger of companies coming together um, or there's a conflict in, um, you know, there's battles and it doesn't have to be, you know, maybe there's salary negotiations or power negotiations or power struggle in the workplace. And um, so that's something that some of you may be dealing with in August. This definitely could also be in a marriage or in a relationship. You know, um, um, there's, you know, a situation where maybe somebody new comes in, a, a, a new relationship. Um, and I'm getting changes, especially with this five. There's, there's change is happening. I feel like if for quite a few of you, it's for the better because it increases something. Something gets more improved. So maybe it's like a change in the way that you do business. Maybe it's a change in the way that you communicate with one another if you're in a marriage or if you are a couple where there has been struggles. Um, you, you meet in the middle and you know, you're both able to benefit from something. Maybe it's, um, a change. I, I heard assembly line. So maybe it's a change in the way you put products together or you assemble something that's going to really save you a lot of money and gain a lot of money or save time. Something like that. It's very interesting reading. Um, you know, it's, and, and maybe it, it could be that you start a business that you really are, you know, you're thinking, well, there isn't really going to be much activity, but it's, it's a passion of mine. And all of a sudden, you're struggling, and that's what this is. Uh, maybe you're struggling within yourself. But you're struggling to maintain um, uh, control because it's just you're so busy. You're, there's a lot of demand and you, all of a sudden you're, you know, um, you need backing or you need more help. You know, you just you can't handle the orders or uh, the overflow. So I. I think it's it's really even though we have this major arcana in reverse I I'm seeing that even though there may be battles uh up ahead or like I said you know some struggle and swords represent Gemini, Aquarius and Libra and the the star for me uh represents aquarius so it could be a, like i said i think but i i did it was a play on words cuz i think i started the reading off by saying aquarius but then i went to equestrian so um but um you know i i feel like even though this is in reverse it's almost like where there is some doubt or lack of faith or discouragement somebody gets some kind of encouragement um i feel like it's for the better um i mean obviously i hope that it is so very interesting aries so Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this brings you some guidance. All right, take care. Bye.